way back when I was there with Cameco, one of the old guys that worked for Ariva, he said, there's gold in these deposits. Just the heads up, there is some gold. Hello, everybody. We are back with Dr. Rebecca Hunter of Forum Energy. Now, I'm, let me tell you something. Forum is a partner and sponsor of this channel. And so obviously, I'm a shareholder. I have skin in the game. And when I woke up this morning, I did not expect news of gold being found in uh, in a couple of the, the holes that have been drilled where we were looking for uranium and all of a sudden we're finding gold. And uh, apparently, because I'm, I'm trying to, you know, th run through my mind, okay, what does this mean? And I have zero geological background and I'm trying to figure out, okay, is, is, is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Like to me, it sounds like a good thing because it, it makes, you know, the, the tonnage just that much more valuable. And maybe there could be other minerals that we haven't uh, really looked for. Uh, but in, instead of telling you what I think, I'm going to ask the expert who is actually knowledgeable about, about these things and that could tell us, uh, you know, what this all means and how it came about in the first place, because I don't really see, you know, gold and uranium being paired together very often. Rebecca, welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. So tell us, uh, are these <laughs> holes that had been drilled before, you know, you guys have uh, something really special going on there up in Nunavut in the Thelon Basin. And are these holes that you guys had drilled for uranium that you went back and assayed? And if so, what made you look for it? Well, it's kind of, it's a bit of a long story, but it essentially... We knew that these deposits can have gold in it. So back, way back when I was there with Cameco, I knew um, one of the old guys that worked for Ariva, and he actually worked for UG back in the day. His name is Peter Wallenberg. <clears throat> and he basically told me, so I kind of fostered a relationship with him because he had all this knowledge. He actually found Andrew Lake. So um, he said, there's gold in these deposits. Just the heads up, there is some gold. Um, but I never, I never assayed for it because I was like, oh, we're looking for uranium and, and I didn't know how much, I didn't really think about it. Um, and so then it kind of came up again. We've kind of been speaking a bit more with Peter Wallenberg and Rick is like assay. So Rick really is the one who triggered it. He's like, you got to assay for it. Let's see. And so, yeah, we, we didn't plan on it. We just ran our samples again for gold and we're, super pleasantly surprised that there's pretty significant gold actually in in the mineralization as well yeah so i'm looking at this here and you have like 11.1 meters of 0 0.7 grams per ton and also uh, 24.6 meters of 0 0.7 grams per ton now is there any indication that Apart from gold, there could be something else up there, or is is that as far as you guys got? That's as far as we've got. We it has been told, like again, talking to people who've been in the area, there is a bit of platinum palladium that's also associated with it. So back in the day, they did with the Arivas deposits. They were thinking about making a circuit potentially for gold and maybe these other um, metals as well because they're payable, you know and and they're not that hard to liberate. You do the hard work by extracting, actually mining uranium. So, you know, so it was, yeah, it was just kind of serendipitous that we decided to do it again. And and there is uranium deposits. Sometimes there is a gold association. So Clough Lake on the western side, as well as Triple R, have gold as well. So some uranium deposits that are unconformity style do have do have gold as well. That is super interesting because you just mentioned Clough Lake, which was actually mined, mm -hmm. right? So fully economic in its heyday and, and actually became something. And then Triple R, which is likely going to be mined in the cycle because it's such a great deposit. Uh, so the comps are, are very positive indeed. Congratulations on, on that finding. And if you're up there, obviously going back to what you're there for, uranium, uh, you have an upcoming drilling campaign. When does it start? How much are you drilling? What are the details of that? 
So we plan on starting in June. Um, so basically our drill program is slated to be June to September. We're going to do 10,000 meters. We're going to, well, we're going to try to do 10,000 meters. We have two drills. Um, we already started the mold. So the, the sleds, some of the sleds are already, um, have the materials on them. So they're loaded. And so hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll start moving stuff over to site. Um, and building our camp. So we got a full slate. So it, it's going to be busy. Um, <laughs> so hopefully I don't go crazy, but it, we're going to be building the camp and then drilling June to September. And so that, so results, uh, essentially July, you know, we'll probably start trickling out the results. Um, if we can get them into assay at that time. Okay. And, and we'll be doing the gold as well. So now oh, okay. we will be showing. Because it's also a bit of a, it's a bit of a pathfinder too. And so, so I've used kind of the other tellurides as a pathfinder for the uranium. So the tellurium and there is actually elevated silver as well. And so now I think it'll be pretty standard for us to also assay gold um, because it's right there with the mineralization. And it's actually even a bit, what's nice about what the gold is showing is that it's, it's associated with the high grade part of the the mineralization but it's also between so it actually could make um the rock that's lower grade it's still elevated but also payable potentially because it actually has you know decent gold grades that is super interesting it really makes for a great deposit if you can fill in the blanks with other minerals that can be economic uh okay so how how much are you guys looking to drill i mean how deep are you going what's the meterage mostly tadagak 250 meters so unless otherwise you know other if the alteration suggests otherwise we will go deeper um, but for for what we know right now, it looks like everything is probably going to be in that that depth, that depth corridor. And yeah, probably 8000 meters for Tadagak. And then we'll we'll step out in some of those other targets that I'm really keen on so that we can hopefully find even more. That is so cool. Awesome. So investors should be looking into maybe hearing news about you know, kick off to the program in June, uh, if all goes well. I know you guys, it's a massive undertaking. People don't really realize what it takes to run a drill program, especially in a place that isn't so accessible. You know, like th this is not Nevada where you can drive up to projects. Uh, yeah. This is this is a, a place where you have to prep well in advance and uh, you have to to really get your, uh, I guess, project management skills in order. So you've already started prepping for that. Project's already started on your end, even though you're not drilling just yet. Uh, and then news in July of actual results trickling through. And fingers crossed, they'll come back with high-grade uranium and also who knows what kind of gold and maybe PGM that, that we find up there, right? Yeah, exactly. Because awesome. That is really, really cool. I'm super excited for that. Rebecca, thank you so much. Uh, how can people find out more about Forum? Where do they go if they think that this is interesting, they want to follow up with you guys and put put you on a watch list of sorts? So, I mean, we our website, obviously. Um, we're on Twitter. I'm on Twitter at Uranium Huntress. So I usually kind of keep posting kind of what what we're doing and stuff like that. So that's probably the best way. That is the best way. I'm going to tell you right now, if you invest in these kind of companies and you're not on Twitter, you are missing out. And if you don't follow uh, Rebecca, then you're definitely missing out because it's it's a joy to see, you know, a real deal in action. And you get to see like pictures of the project and, and little little details that give you context into what you're putting your money towards, what you're betting on, and that the real work is getting done on the ground. Dr. Rebecca, Rebecca Hunter, thank you so much for coming on to the show for this quick update. Thank you. And uh, I'll see you very soon. Sounds good. Thanks, Fabi.